What's going on, people? How you doing? TK coming at you. Just want to hit you guys with a little bit of information. You know, yesterday I took the time to share a um, leverage payment system that I use. I have seven different systems that I use to make my money get a job. And one of them I shared in a cryptocurrency group that I run on Facebook. There's over 5,000 members in that group. And the topic came up about um, making your money get a job. So I explained that I use this system to make my money get a job and it earns about one to 2% every day and could get you at return on investment in about 15 days and um, the people in the cryptocurrency group are supposed to be knowledgeable and interested in cryptocurrency that's why they joined the damn Facebook group so it's different from talking to a complete stranger that has no idea what cryptocurrency is and you have to beg them to participate and blah 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 and then they have excuses to why they don't want to join it's different when you already are speaking to a group that's uh, an enthusiast about cryptocurrency and know uh, a little bit about the industry. That's why you join a group called Cryptocurrency Entrepreneurs, right? So I'm talking about this method that I use to make money work for me. And um, I, I explained, like I said, that you get... One to two percent per day. You can get return on investment in about fifteen days, and also you have an option to compound. Plus, you get uh, referral commissions if you get anyone else involved in the investment. So, the response I got was, uh, "Oh, that's a Ponzi scheme." Now. I pre-qualified the explanation by telling you that this group supposedly is interested in cryptocurrency and interested in entrepreneurship, and that's why they're in the group, right? Well, some people join the group just to test the water and just to be curious. They're not really entrepreneur-minded, and they're not really into cryptocurrency. So... The point of reference that I want to make is that even when you talk to a focus group, you still have people that say making your money get a job and leveraging your assets, which is a strategy of the super rich that I try to teach people in my video marketing, you still have people say that that's a Ponzi scheme. Now, the ultimate Ponzi scheme that's ever been created that keeps you a fucking slave and will probably have you work until you fucking die is fractional reserve banking when it applies to fiat money. Because that's a top-down architecture that creates money out of thin air and charges you interest on the money that they fucking created out of nothing. So it's a negative depreciating system from the second you get one dollar in your pocket because every dollar that's born into existence is born with negative depreciation <clears throat> there's interest on that dollar that you fucking can't even afford to pay back and you're too stupid to fucking understand that so it, it, it blows me away that people are so fucking arrogant and stupid that they turn down success strategies of the super rich. How the fuck do you argue with <coughs> making your money work for you and putting assets into a fucking system that leverages it and brings money back into your house. How the fuck do you argue with that? That's the reason why the super rich don't share these tactics. That's the reason why they keep this information to the damn self. Because people are so fucking arrogant and stupid that when you tell them how to multiply their money, they fucking argue with you. 
Now, I'm very passionate about this because I actually try to fucking help people. I saw a post yesterday on on Facebook where somebody cussed out the, or everybody else on Facebook saying that there's too many people who speak rhetoric and do nothing to help other people. And that ranting on Facebook is not changing people's lives or doing anything to help people. Well, guess what? Even when you try to fucking help people, people try to fucking shoot themselves in the foot. Oh, that's a Ponzi scheme. You know what? This is what I say. I say poor people deserve the lack that they have in their life. I say that people who are arrogant and ignorant and stuck as a slave to debt deserve to fucking be a slave to debt because you're too fucking close-minded to open to strategies. It's obvious that the strategy that you're doing every fucking day is not working. That's the reason why you're negatively in debt and ain't making no fucking progress in your life. So maybe you should do something fucking different and maybe you should implement the strategies of the people who are rich. They don't work for money. Rich people never work for money. Rich people are smart enough to have money work for them.